friction in an oscillator usually provides a damping mechanism that removes energy from the system and causes the amplitude to decay. Here's an interesting oscillator for which the friction provides the restoring force that causes the system to oscillate. The system consists of two metal disks rotating in opposite directions with a metal rod resting on the disks. As the disks rotate, there's kinetic friction between the rotating disks and the rod. When the system is in equilibrium, the rod is at rest. The weight of the rod pulls it down, acting at its center. The two normal forces push the rod back up and exactly cancel the downward weight. The kinetic friction forces due to those two normal forces are equal in strength and opposite in direction, so the system is in equilibrium. But what happens if the system is slightly displaced from equilibrium? The weight still pulls the rod down, but now it's not at the center of the system anymore. As a result, the two normal forces are no longer equal in magnitude. They still add up to the same total as the weight, but the one on the right is bigger. Since the two normal forces are not the same size, the friction forces are not equal either and the friction force directed towards the left is now larger than the force towards the right, and as a result there's a net force back toward equilibrium. When the system is displaced from equilibrium, the net friction restoring force pushes the system back toward equilibrium, the inertia of the rod causes it to overshoot equilibrium, and the trade-off between restoring force and inertia causes the system to oscillate. The natural frequency of oscillation depends only on the coefficient of friction and the distance between the two wheels. It does not depend on the length of the rod. So using a longer rod, as long as the coefficient of friction is not changed, produces the same natural frequency. So what happens if we reverse the direction of wheel rotation? The weight and the normal forces still balance each other, but now the friction forces point away from the center of the system and the net friction force pushes the system away from equilibrium. The result is an unstable system. 